Catherine Steele got it wrong. My name is Kent, and this is your Half Hour Call. Attention cast and crew, this is your Half Hour Call. Half hour to the top of the show. Half hour, please. Hello friends, and welcome to another episode of Half Hour Call. If this is your first time here, Half Hour Call is dedicated to shining the spotlight on technical theater, so go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to find out every time I upload a new how-to video, interview with industry leaders, or general theater updates like you are watching right now. In case you missed it, Katherine Steele, who is an actress and theater YouTuber, recently released a video on her channel about pro shot musicals, bootlegs, and why there is a depressing lack of theatrically released Broadway shows. And she actually did a really good job breaking down the costs associated and why it's so uncommon. Basically, like anything in America, it all comes down to money. To film a Broadway show, not only do you have to pay for the costs of actually filming the show, but you also have to pay everyone involved union film rates. So stage managers and actors are on sag after contracts, IATSE members get a pay bump, and the creative team gets a big chunk of change as well. For the filming of Hamilton, these costs totaled around $10 million. Admittedly, a wildly successful show like Hamilton is probably on the high end of the spectrum, but when the average Broadway musical's cost to produce, also known as capitalization, is between $15 and $20 million, dropping another $10 million in order to film the show and release it theatrically is just not going to happen. So if all of that's true, then what did Catherine Steele get wrong? Well, between Hamilton on Disney Plus and the Princess Diana musical being filmed for Netflix in the coming months, I think we are on the precipice of a game-changing new partnership between streaming services and Broadway producers. And not unlike the egrets and yak in your biology textbook, this could be a very mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship. What's incredible about this is we don't even need to speak in hypotheticals. We can look to another exploding niche in Netflix, stand-up comedy. You may have noticed that there are a lot of comedy specials on Netflix, and it seems like every couple of weeks they put out another one. That's because Netflix has been producing two to three specials a month with budgets that go up to $20 million. This increased productivity has made comedy specials more accessible not only to audience members by streaming it on Netflix, but also to new comedians and to lesser known comedians. It's also been the trend that a release of a Netflix comedy special causes tour ticket sales to skyrocket. So let's adapt the comedy special business model to filming Broadway shows. As we've already established, the biggest hurdle for producers to film a Broadway show is the money. Well, Netflix has tons of money. In fact, it has dropped up to $200 million to produce one Netflix original movie. That's 20 Hamiltons. You could film Hamilton 20 times for the cost of that one original movie. So here's my proposal for how it could work. Step number one, streaming services option Broadway shows, just like Broadway shows option plays and musicals from playwrights and composers. Optioning is when you pay a smaller amount now for the right to buy something at a certain price later, often within a certain time frame. This is common practice with certain kinds of stock trading, buying a house, and yes, even Broadway shows. So let's just say it costs $1 million for Netflix to option a musical. Now Netflix has the right to film the Broadway show later on, and the producers are $1 million closer to their initial capitalization. Step number two, at the first rehearsal, the stage managers and actors sign a rider to their existing Actors' Equity Association contract, stating that if Netflix uses their right to produce the film, they agree to be a part of it for the same percentage above SAG-AFTRA minimums that they are currently making above equity minimums. So let's just say, hypothetically, that in the upcoming Music Man revival, Hugh Jackman is making an absolutely ludicrous $100,000 a week. This means that he is making about 50 times the equity Broadway minimum, so he would make 50 times the sag after minimum should Netflix decide to produce the film. Step three, the show officially opens and the clock starts ticking on Netflix's option to produce the film. They would theoretically have a pre-negotiated number of weeks to watch audience response and watch critical reviews to see if it's worth it for them to produce the film. Step four, if Netflix or whatever streaming service does decide to film, they film it within the first six months, so the original cast is still there. And Netflix would pay the associated fees, so if we're using Hamilton as the guide, it would probably not exceed $10 million total. And considering Disney paid $75 million for the rights to stream Hamilton on Disney+, Plus, I'd be saying the $10 million plus the $1 million in optioning fees would be an absolute steal if the show became a smash hit. 
And step five, after a pre-negotiated amount of time, the film is released on the streaming service. Depending on the desires of the producers and the streaming service itself, this could be released in anticipation of a tour, a certain number of years after opening, or even after the show closes. And when discussing release time, one of the huge concerns that producers have when deciding whether or not to film their show is that a filmed version is going to reduce ticket revenue. But the release of Hamilton on Disney Plus showed that that is not necessarily the case. It's very likely that most shows would have an increased amount of interest in seeing it in person after they watch it on a streaming service. And that neatly packaged is my proposed system for what I would love to see in the near future. The way I see it, it is a win, 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 win. Actors and creatives would get some much needed financial stability and consistency through the residuals that they would get from the streaming service. Netflix and other streaming services would get a whole host of new properties and drive a whole bunch of business if a Broadway show opens that a bunch of people want to see. Accessibility to Broadway shows is dramatically improved without sacrificing any box office revenue. In fact, the box office would probably see an increase in ticket sales because as Hamilton and the stand-up comedy model have proved, Availability of something on Netflix just makes people want to see the live thing even more. And most importantly, we may be spared from dealing with the dreaded musical movie adaptations ever again. I mean, I mean, look at this thing. Who, what executive approved this? Come on, Hollywood. <laughs> Hey there friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I do not have a Patreon and I do not plan on making a Patreon. If this fact bums you out, please do me a huge favor and support the channel by liking this video and commenting, and then take the money you would have given me and give it to one of the following organizations instead. The Actors Fund, Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS, or my personal favorite option, go buy a ticket and see some local equity regional theater because it is the absolute best way to learn. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. My name is Kent and this this has been your half hour call.